ladies and gentlemen my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to go ahead and show you guys how to host a website from your local pc onto a heroku platform okay so it can be accessible from anywhere in the world just by typing in a domain name and we're going to be doing this in a very 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 easy and understandable way that's going to help you not get errors or not host it the right way so i don't want to waste any time i just want to go ahead and get started if you want to see more videos like this do make sure to drop a like and also consider subscribing as you to me in the world to me also if you have any issue drop it in the comment section i'm always there to help you guys out so without any further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay guys so this is the website that we're going to be putting on heroku as you can see it's still on my local server and we're just going to go ahead and put this on heroku without wasting any more time so the first thing you want to do is make sure you head over to heroku.com and create an account with them if you don't have an account already and another thing you want to do is make sure you download git so come over to git hyphen scm.com slash downloads and download based on your operating system and also make sure you have um, a command prompt or git bash or git cmd whatever you can use any of those okay so when you've done this now the first thing you want to do is head over to your heroku and you want to create a new application so in my heroku i'm just simply gonna click on new over here and i'm gonna click on create new app okay so we're gonna name this whatever let's say we want to name this instagram clone and you know this is going to take a few trials because it's not only you that's using the domain name a whole lot of people would also be trying it so you need to give it a couple try before it actually goes ahead and work so this is going to be instagram clone d this fix or whatever then when this is done what we need to do is go ahead and hit um create application and you can see to go ahead and create this application for us so when this is done the next thing you want to do is open up git cmd or command prompt or whatever at all that you want to be using and i'm going to open up my git cmd but before that i want to show you guys something you want to make sure to install heroku cli okay and if you don't have heroku cli it's not gonna work we're not gonna work with the heroku commands in the in the command prompt so you want to make sure you install heroku cli coming over to dev center and we need to say rather heroku cli download and make sure you come over to um heroku cli over here and let me manually get the, the download link for you guys so you don't have to waste your time doing that already by yourself so this is it over here you can come over to this url over here and you can download based on your your operating system or your bits that you're working on so after that the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open cmd just like this and we need to um leave the desk the destiny drive and come over to the desktop but make sure you are not in this user drive over here okay and after that what you want to simply do is heroku login and heroku login let's see if this is going to work now okay so you give it a couple of sec and um let's see what's gonna happen okay as you can see it says press any key to open the browser to log in or queue to quit okay so i'm just gonna hit f or spacebar or whatever at all it's gonna go ahead and open my browser and it will auto and it will want me to log into the heroku cli so as you can see it said login logged in you can now close this tab it should now be logged in okay so when you come over here you can see it says logged in as desfix at gmail.com so that's exactly what we need now we want to go ahead and connect the application that we just created this one over here the instagram clone cli um this one over here we want to go ahead and connect it here now how do we do that we need to simply say heroku space git column remote then we need to say hyphen a and we need to call the app name okay so the app name is instagram hyphen clone hyphen d okay so instagram hyphen clone hyphen d hit enter on your keyboard and as you can see it says one in heroku updated blah 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 and as you can see it's now set git to that particular version so you can also go ahead and see where your project is by saying git hyphen sorry git 
remote hyphen v and as you can see this is where we are now we are in instagram clone d dot kit so it, everything is working perfectly well now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our code so this is the code that we're going to be pushing over here let me make sure this code is actually looking good so this is the code we're going to be pushing and there is a couple things that you need to know um before actually pushing code that is heroku does not host static files and if you want to go ahead and create an application and host it on heroku so that um users can actually use it and create accounts upload profile pictures yeah it's gonna work but after some time let's say a day heroku is gonna automatically clear your database like your recent database not the one you uploaded the file suite okay hopefully you understand okay let's say i host the instagram account and after hosting it a user came and created an account after a day the account is going to be deleted that's because heroku doesn't store all this kind of stuff or this kind of data you need to go ahead and use something like s3 buckets aws s3 buckets for all that to actually work so heroku does not store static file but don't worry i'm going to show you guys how to actually um upload static files to heroku static files are just like um the pictures the the you understand like the pictures exactly the videos and the logo and all that but don't worry i'm gonna show you guys how to work with that okay so after coming over to our code you want to make sure to install some things so i'm gonna head over to to my git cmd so this is um this is git cmd over here um we can simply say peep install gunicon so you want to install gunicon and you also want to install white noise i am sure i already have all this installed you want to install pillow if you're going to be using images in your for example images like this so you want to install gunicon white noise pillow i'm sure i already have all this installed but i just want to show you guys the necessary things that you need to install to get your app up and running okay so after all this i think we need to go ahead and give this a sec or two to successfully um try install all this but it's gonna say requirements already satisfied as you can see it said it already and that's because i already have this applications installed here okay or rather it's we just go ahead and upgrade it so after installing those couple things now the next thing we want to do is get requirements for our our application that we created over here so initially you were supposed to use a a virtual environment where well, as you can see i didn't use a virtual environment over here and that's just because it's um it's actually recommendable i wouldn't say it's not nice using a virtual environment it's really nice but um it's like very very much there's a whole lot of files and it's be a lot to take in when i'm committing to github and pushing to heroku so that's why i just keep it but you need to um get requirements.txt now what is requirement.txt heroku would automatically want to know the packages that you used to build your application for example did you use peepwin did you use um crispy forms did you use um whatever at all you hopefully get a gist so heroku would want to know the packages and apps that you used to build your project so that they can install it on their server and make sure your project doesn't have any error so in order to get ours we can simply say peep freeze like this and we can say an angle bracket the upper one then call requirements requirements.txt so in a virtual environment this is simply gonna get all this is simply gonna get um all the required txt that you used all the app, app and all that so you can see mine created itself on the desktop over here uh, I actually named it requirements.txt that's not what I want I want to name it requirements.txt okay so as you can see it's now in a text document now when i open this up you can see all this whole of packages that i have over here but you know i'm not going to be using all this so i'm simply going to get rid of some okay and all this is showing up because i'm not using the virtual environment if for any reason i was using a virtual environment it's just going to list out two or three applications that i used or libraries i don't know why i keep calling that applications that i used for this project okay but to create this you want to make sure that you are in your project directory okay so i'm gonna get to my project now as you can see i'm there and i'm gonna run the command again peep freeze hyphen requirements.txt okay now i run this again now when you open this up you can see it over here so i can i can go ahead and open this up and i'm very very sure i'm not using 
so i'm very very sure i'm not using some of all this i'm just simply gonna i'm i'm, gonna, I'm just simply gonna get rid of them okay like all this all this i'm very very sure i don't i'm not using all this so if i want to go ahead and install this it's it's gonna be a little bit big for heroku to start installing all this on their server so i'm just gonna get rid of this and i'm gonna leave dj database blah blah i'm gonna leave everything related to django so if you're using a, a virtual environment you don't need to do this it's because i didn't use a virtual environment that's why i have to go through the hassle of doing all these things okay so as you can see we've just got a couple over here i'm gonna save this and yeah i think that's gonna work if that doesn't work we're gonna get back and fix the error so when we've done this now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and create a runtime.txt file so over here we need to create a runtime.txt file and I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna right click come over to new and i'm gonna come over to rich text document and i'm gonna say runtime.txt so most of the stuff i wouldn't bother explaining it it's just heroku thing um there is no need of actually understanding what happens just make sure your code run and upload successfully okay so that's why i won't be even bothering explaining any of this for now so when we have um installed put the the runtime.txt here now we need to put something in this runtime.txt okay but i think i could just get rid of this and open it up in my in here and this is it over here so what do we need to put in runtime the txt we simply need to put our python version in there i can just open up my git cmd rather and i can break out from this and i can come over here to check my python version let me check out python okay python is working and as you can see i'm using python 3.9.1 okay so that's what we simply want to use so that's what we need to put here when you say python hyphen 3.9.1 so that's what we need to put in the runtime.txt save it up now we also need to create one other file and that's going to be called proc file so in here we need to come over here and say ctrl n new i want to say text but this one we need to call it proc file without any extension take note it's just gonna be proc file so we hit enter and as you can see it says blah blah, blah. i sure you want to change it yeah of course we want to change it so as you can see it's proc file over here now in the proc file what we want to add is quite um simple we want to simply call the gunicon that we created so we're gonna say web and we're gonna say gunicon gunny Khan, just like this and we need to call the name of our project so as you can see the name of our project is igprj so we need to say ig underscore prj and we need to say dot wsgi and hyphen hyphen log dash file dash okay so with this now i think yeah that should be it but for some reason i don't know why i am just i think i actually might be missing something so i might just head over to an application that i have hosted earlier to see what and what i might be missing so i'm just simply gonna come over here and let me open up this one and i'm gonna open up the the proc file for this one and as you can see this is how it's looking over here so i'm simply gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it down here so as you can see it's looking almost exactly um just that this igprj is gonna be this one over here okay actually we got it so i'm gonna get rid of this one and save this so this is what you need to put in your profile this over here is going to be the name of your project the name of my project is igprj yours might be instagram project or whatever so put in the name of your project there okay so after all this i think that's what we need to do we need to go ahead and make our projects to allow the domain points to our site so we need to come over to igprj we need to come over to settings.py and in allowed host we want to add a couple things but before we do that let's head back to our app and want to open this application so we open up the app and this is the url i'm simply going to copy uh, this url over here and i'm going to paste it in here so we actually want our application to allow us come over to this url so that's why i'm going to paste it but make sure to get rid of the http and all that okay now make sure you add in the instagram clone dot com just like that and also now you can see when we come over to our local server and run this this is not going to work it's going to say invalid http host blah 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 so that's because we need to also add this this one two 
thing to our allowed host to also allow it work on the local server now when we refresh you can see this is going to go ahead and work let's see i think we are missing something okay i need to get rid of this i need to get rid of that just like that and let's refresh this again as you can see it's working on the local host and it will also work on the live server so when we've done this i think that's simply what we need to do for now and you need to change the bug to false but for now let's just still stick with the bug true i'm gonna show you guys what happens if you change the bug to false okay and let me come over here and i'm gonna come over to github and i want to simply look out for my for my project file and i'll open up the settings just like that and as you can see the bug is true over here so when the bug is false trust me it's not gonna work okay so if the bug is false it's not gonna render your static files and all that you see a lot of people say leave the bug in false when you want to produce and all that but since this is not like a real time project it's just for demo or something just leave your debugging true for your static files to actually show up and i don't know if what i'm saying is actually right some other people might oppose this but it works for me so it might also work for you okay now when we've done this the the next thing we want to do is in our settings.py um make sure you configure the allowed host leave the bug true and in heroku dash com we want to add build pack and choose python so over here come over to settings and let's wait for this to load up and you want to come over to add build pack and make sure you are choosing python so if you are working with php ruby java go grado whatever make sure to choose the application you're working with so i'm working with python that's why i'm going to choose python so i think yeah that's simply what we need to do now so heading over to github we need to create a new repo repo for our project so i'm going to create a new repository and i'm simply going to call this instagram clone okay just like this and as you can see it's dynamic no one else have it already now we can you can make this public or private or whatever it doesn't actually really matter then after this um we can simply go ahead and create a repository i think that's all we need we can add a readme file later if for any reason you want to add readme to it so we need to commit the look the code from our local pc to this github repository and how do we do that you want to open up git bash or your cmd or whatever so the code is over 100 files that's why i'm going to be doing it this way in some other videos you might see people locally drag their code from here and drop it on onto github just like this but now i don't want to do that because i have a lot of code in there so coming over here what we need to do is open up our project and we need to git right click and git bash here okay so when we right click and git bash here that's simply what we want to do now we are simply gonna um okay but before we do this let's come over to instagram come over here and we need to come over to deploy and the check out for deployment method and we need to connect to github okay so when we click connect to github as you can see it's connected to my repository to my github account already if yours isn't connected make sure you connect it and we need to search for the repo name that we created as you can see it's instagram clone and search for it okay as you can see it's found it already so we need to simply go ahead and connect this so as you can see this is a little bit tricky all the stuff we've been doing it says we are unable to access this connected repository in github if that repository is empty okay yeah, the repository is actually empty now but as you can see it's connected it's saying disconnect that means it's connected so back to our git bash we want to commit that code to github so we can simply say git in it to initialize an empty repo an empty git repository in that drive and after that the next thing we want to say is simply go ahead and add up all the files that we've got there so we're going to add up all these files take note if you are working with um with a virtual environment it's going to take a whole lot of minutes or even hours to actually pull out all your code from your virtual environment and commit them in here okay so that's something you really really want to run away from committing to github using still having your virtual environment files okay so um as you can see this is going ahead to commit all my files and we can still go ahead and say git status to see all the whole files that it's committed as you can see successfully it's committed all this now after all this we need to go ahead and say git commit hyphen m then we need to add a message we can say um first commit take note you can add whatever text you want in here it doesn't matter so i'm gonna say first commit and hit enter we give this like a minute 
or two then it's gonna go ahead and cut oh it, that didn't even actually actually get to a minute that's just like five sec or so then after committing you want to simply head over to the github and you want to copy this line of code over here and you want to paste it in here okay so you can simply paste this in here and hit enter on your keyboard so as you can see that happened now finally we're gonna say git push hyphen u origin master so finally we are pushing to github now this is gonna take a couple try um sometimes i usually get errors some other time i don't get errors but if for any reason we are not getting any errors yet then fine we can go ahead and work successfully without um having to slow down oh yeah everything is up to date and it's working okay guys so as you can see we are encountering this error okay over here that says um this error rpc field and all that so i'm simply gonna hop over to stack overflow and let's see what's happening so i, I already have someone open all over here and as you can see this is saying i resolve the same problem by doing all this it's not because we have a large file size blah 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 doing above blah 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 okay as you can see uh, uh actually a whole lot of people are talking about this so i'm simply gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it in here you know this is how it usually happens when we get errors now we've done this let's actually try um initializing again so we've done git init we've done git add it's working and we've done git commit and all that so we can simply go ahead and push again let's see if we still get the same error so as you can see it's pushing 25 percent um yeah yeah what's going on what's going on let's give this a couple of seconds or two and i hope we don't get any errors again okay guys so i actually think it is done and let's come over here and refresh the code and see if this is working now so we're gonna refresh the repository that we created on github and hopefully this is working so as you can see it just took one try make sure that when you get the error you're gonna add this so it's simply because we have a large file size and by adding this code over here it increases the lot the file size that we are expected to upload so when you've done this now i think yeah that's pretty much what we need to do then we just need to um come over to heroku and we need to hit deploy so there is nothing much there is nothing more to it but we're gonna get an error if we just hit deploy now that's because we need to actually tell our static file um to actually load itself up okay so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and configure our static files now to upload whenever we are doing something like this okay so we need to add a static root over here and we need to join this so we're gonna say os.path dot join and what are we joining over here we simply want to join the base directory with a folder that's going to be called static files okay so whenever we upload something to um heroku it's going to come into this folder over here named static files note if you're uploading to something like s3 buckets then this is going to be another configuration for it but since this video is a heroku based video we're simply going to do everything possible to make sure that heroku files work over here now coming over to the last phase of the video we simply want to add white noise okay so in this middleware place we want to add white noise that we imported um in the earlier video you remember we installed it from over here and in order to get white noise i'm simply gonna head over to one of the codes that i have written before and let me just come over here just give this a couple sec and go ahead and open i don't know why i've got a slow internet today um i just hope it works okay it's working now i'm gonna come over to this over here and i want to simply copy what i've got in my settings.py i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna open up settings.py and in the middleware section this is it over here as you can see um i'm actually looking for white noise i think so I'm, I'm simply gonna get back and let me get to another repository that i hosted and get white noise but if that doesn't work out i'll just manually type it out myself i'm just coming over here um to actually make sure that everything works fine without we getting any error any typographical error or something so okay this is what i'm looking for so i'm simply gonna grab this over here i'm gonna grab it and i'm gonna come over to our code and we could just put this below security i've seen a, a whole lot of people do that i don't know if it actually means anything but i'm just gonna do it the way they've been doing it so we don't get any error so after all this now can we simply hop over to our instagram come over to deploy if you were there already okay yeah i think it should be deploy now i would simply refresh this because i can't find the deploy the deploy um button 
or maybe it should be in settings.py i don't really know but if we don't find us here then we're gonna help over to settings okay as you can see it's working now so what we simply do is deploy on the master branch so why are we deploying on the master branch that's because if you hop over to the code that we that we um exp that we uploaded over here as you can see it's on a master branch so if this is on a, another branch then that's where you want to deploy to okay then I'm, I'm simply gonna hit this deploy branch over here so yes you would definitely see this go ahead and install all the the requirement.tst app that we gave it as you can see installing peep setup to wheel and other stuff so you need to um give it a second no 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 not a second you need to give it like a minute or two to actually go ahead and install all the files that we've got and hopefully we don't get any error we did everything the right way but if we get any error we're just gonna go ahead and debug the error for you guys okay so we just need to wait for this and watch it load up so while it's loading i'm just gonna go ahead and play some music okay guys so as you can see we got our first error so it says module not found no no, no module named peel okay I, I'm, I'm very very sure this is a pillow error now i'm gonna open up the project file again and i'm gonna and i'm gonna come over to requirement.txt and if you notice while we're getting rid of all the other um packages we got rid of pillow so that's so bad so i'm simply gonna come over here and i'm gonna copy pillow as you can see this is it over here so i'm simply gonna copy pillow so i'm just gonna put pillow somewhere here it doesn't actually really matter so after updating my code over here i want to come over to the git bash and make sure i push again okay so i'm simply gonna add uh, okay, let me try initializing. So I'm gonna initialize and as you can see it said initialize So I'm gonna add so that's because I added one line of code over here and we need to make sure that this code is updated That's why I'm doing all this. So after I have added um, You we can go ahead and commit again. We can go ahead and commit again. I don't think it's necessary So it's hyphen M then we can add something like um, second commit okay so second commit and hit enter so as you can see it says trail files changed now after this we can go ahead and call the url this one over here and as you can see it says remote origin already exists now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and push so we're gonna say git push hyphen u and when you say origin dash sorry origin master just like that hit enter on your keyboard and we need to look at this upload to github again so why am i doing this is because i actually got an error okay hopefully you guys understand and we need to add up something so as you can see i think it's pushed again to this heroku part over here now after this um i'm gonna come over to my github and i'm gonna locally try saying if that's actually pushed correctly so when i refresh this i'm gonna come over to requirement.tl and i'm gonna come over here as you can see there is now pillow so we're gonna head back to our instagram and sorry we're gonna head back to our heroku and we're gonna hit deploy branch again so this time around hopefully everything should work fine and if for any reason it's not still working then we're gonna go ahead and debug the errors together okay guys so as you can see it's it said compressing and it said done we used 112.3 mb and as you can see it's launched and it's released and as you can see it's released the version 5 on that place as you can see it says your app was successfully deployed now for the moment of truth we just click on this and let's see okay guys so um actually i found out an error that's making our application not to push so over here you can see that um it's saying application error so we named this profile instead of proc file so that's a very 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 notable error so we need to come over here and say proc file and the proc file make sure you have this in here so with doing this proc file now we need to go ahead and repush our application as you can see it's proc file now over here we need to go ahead and repush this app let's make sure um we we get bash in this place so i'm gonna open this up and in here i'm gonna say git bash here okay and we need to simply say git git um init as you can see it's reinitialize something now we need to say git add and how about we say git commit again so commit hyphen m then we need to say something like dot commit or something okay and as you can see it says one file changed then we need to go ahead and push again or yeah, we need to go ahead and push let's say git hyphen new origin master push and let's see if this actually pushed so as you can see i it's successfully pushed now let's 
let's head back to our github and i'm gonna refresh this file over here and let's see this time around as you can see it's proc file so with this now can we come over here and refresh this it's not gonna work so we need to hop over to deploy and i think we definitely need to already deploy this branch so we need to hit deploy branch again and this needs to start um, loading up from beginning and install all the applications that we need for it to actually work so so as you guys can see it's very very common to get errors when working with things like this make sure that you are very careful you watch out for things and all that so one slight change of text or something might actually ruin your whole project so we need to wait up for this and allow it to load up successfully before we go ahead and run our application again so as you can see it says compressing launch done and all this are working now so let's wait for the release of it um it should take like one second or two as you can see it's still loading up over here okay so as you can see it says your app was successfully deployed so what we need to do is go ahead and view app over here so what do you notice we viewed our application and it's working successfully well okay so we can go ahead and log in so my username was destiny and my password was testing three to one yeah i just told you my password i'm gonna go ahead and change that so i can simply go ahead and log in now and what do you notice it's working perfectly well as expected okay so this is gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new if you did don't forget to drop a like and also consider subscribing as it will really mean the world to me and if you guys are getting any error do make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below i'll be there to help you guys debug whatever errors you're getting i hope i'll see you guys in the next video drop a like consider subscribing as it really means the world to me and in the meantime i love peace out